Hello everyone, I am a girl from Mishin community born in Lakhimpur district of Assam. You know, our life is full of hardships. The 24-7 heavy rains and the floods, they drown everything. Our homes, our schools, our jobs, oh my god. Walking through all those muddy ways, drinking red impure water all the time. All this happens because of the Brahmaputra and its vast stretch of tributaries in the region. Not just our community, but the whole of Assam is affected. This is what life is for us. No transportation facilities except in the city like Guwahati. No communication, no nothing. What to do? Don't worry my friend, we are here to help you. Our group of architecture and engineering students along with the help of our project partner Selco and industrial partner architect Neelam Manjunath have come up with a community resilient shelter Vishraya, meaning shelter for protection. Lakhimpur lies on the northern bank of Brahmaputra. There are around 180 households in these villages and they all fall under flood-prone areas because of which the communities are disconnected and have limited alternative income sources. The shelter will otherwise help build and empower women in the village by providing agro-processing center, weaving units and logistics. The SSG crash and medical room will be functional during non-disaster as support spaces and toilets will be used as community toilets which will resolve the lack of sanitation problem. The central court will act as wind catcher and cattle will take shelter below the building to keep them cold during summers. Preparation for the disaster scenario include early warnings, provide first aid to rescued and injured, preparing medical units for post-disaster diseases, stocking community kitchen with supplies, clearing out spaces for additional occupancy and moving cattle to their shed. Project Vishraya is designed to stand strong during disasters and flexible enough to be used during non-disasters. The shelter is connected to communities within 1000 to 1600 meter radii. The periphery of the site is designed with water channels, ridges and landscape. The structure is elevated to be resilient against the floods. The construction techniques are vernacular so the communities can self-develop the structures. Woman bamboo mats by communities are used in partition walls. The foundation is of stone and substructure completely in concrete. Circular stilts are used to handle pressure on all surfaces to withstand floods. The treated bamboo is used for superstructure and roof of corrugated bamboo sheets. Also, use of local materials will reduce transport cost. As there is abundance of rainwater, therefore we plan to use harvested rainwater and sewage treatment for net zero water sufficiency. Sand filters and bamboo filters are used to provide pure water which are low cost and locally available, which are replicable and community scale and provide abundant amount of purified water. Solar PV system is designed to cater 100% of the energy demand of the building during disaster as well as non-disaster time, which have enabled us to cut down on our capital and operational costs, ensuring maintenance without skilled technicians in remote villages. Sustainable alternative use of the shelter will provide flexibility and maintenance during non-disasters will make it ready and functional during disaster times as well. With the thoughtful use of resources and design tools, let's make a self-sufficient and affordable net-zero energy and water resilient shelter for future. Thank you for the opportunity Solar Decathlon has given us.